हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर पूजा वालिया मान फ्रॉम एस जी आई समालखा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द मॉड्यूल इंटरएक्टिव मार्केटिंग फ्रॉम द पेपर सर्विसेज मार्केटिंग सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल फर्स्टली द मीनिंग ऑफ इंटरएक्टिव मार्केटिंग the levels of interaction in service marketing two very important concepts co-creation and co-production conceptual model of interactive marketing advantages and limitations of interactive marketing services are typically characterized by the interaction between the consumers and the service providers this is because the services are produced and consumed at the same time hence the interaction cannot be avoided between the provider and consumer of the services marketing of services have increasingly become interactive due to the consumers access to technology driven modes especially the internet for being in touch with the service provider take the example of banking services where the consumer interacts with the bank for procuring various information using the internet now let us look at certain definitions of service interaction the first such definition is given by solomon in the year 1985 he hails that a service interaction is a fusion of employees and customers where the success of the service delivery depends upon how well both parties perform their roles now understanding this definition the interactions in service marketing is considered to be reciprocal of the social behavioral and business exchanges between the consumers and the service employees the marketing interaction of consumers in services does not limit only to the service personnel but it also extends to the technology being adopted for the service creation and service delivery as well as the process of service creation and service delivery we'll discuss another definition given by bolton and saxena air this was coined in the year 2009 they hold that interactive services are services that have some form of customer firm interaction in an environment which is characterized by any level of technology now here let us look that while almost all services will require an interaction between the service seller and a service consumer there is a varied degree of interaction between the two the level of this interaction greatly depends upon the type of service being observed and the level of technological exposure and availability of the level of technology having defined the service interaction it is important to understand that the degree of interaction is also affected by the two dimensions one extent of participation of the consumer in the service delivery and consumption and the other dimension is that of extent of use of technology in the service delivery now based on these two dimensions bolton and ayer have proposed a quadrant characterizing the levels of interaction in services in the subsequent slide will reflect upon the quadrants based on these two dimensions now 
we understand that the degree of interaction is affected by the two dimensions of extent of participation of the consumer in the service delivery and the service consumption as must be visible in this figure the other dimension is that of extent of use of technology in the service delivery based on these two dimensions as shown on coordinate x and y bolton and ayer have proposed a quadrant characterizing the levels of interaction in services this figure reflects the four quadrants based on these two dimensions now let us look at each of these quadrants one by one at length the first is the highly interactive services this set of services are marked with a very high level of service interaction as the services are highly technology enabled and the extent of consumer participation is also high the service marketing in this category is generally supported by customized softwares to facilitate the consumer interaction there are services like online banking and medical and information services which are typically marked by the high participation of the consumers as the information sought is unique to each consumer further the level of technology that can be applied in the services are also of the high level for the purpose of completing a successful service support and delivery let us look at the second quadrant it is marked by a low level of consumer participation but a high level of technology being used this is called as the continuously provided services this set of services is the one in which the participation of the consumer may not be very high but the level of technology utilized for delivery of the service is very high let us take the example of telecommunication services here the consumer may not be able to directly utilize these services with his participation rather he only is a recipient and user of the services at the same time for an organization to offer better services they need to use high end technology for a better network better coverage and better connectivity the third quadrant is known as the co-creation services if the level of participation of the consumers in the service marketing is high but the level of technology application is low this set of services are known as the co-created services let us take the example of any adventure park let us say disneyland or imagica etc the consumer will be able to consume a service with his own active participation in getting the rides and feeling the pleasure of the same however the rides may use a limited level of technology to operate the rides therefore high consumer participation but low technology the last quadrant is the traditional services quadrant it is marked by low extent of customer participation and low extent of technology being used it is the last set of services the services like retailing and offline banking 
may require a consumer to place an order or request for some task at the counter and the same is delivered to the consumer with a limited usage of the technology hence the above four are the categories of the services in which the interaction is of varying degrees based on the two dimensions just discussed now let us understand that there are management practitioners who believe that the services falling in the first quadrant are the only interactive marketing services but this may not be true given the high level of technology used even in quadrant 2 let us now move on to another fundamental aspect of this module interactive marketing the level of interaction of a consumer is directly dependent upon the level of participation of the consumers in the service creation and service delivery as we have just now talked about the participative behavior of the consumers results in the higher interactive marketing of the service organizations for the purpose of explanation of interactive marketing the following conceptual model is being used which will be shown on the next slide in which the key roles of the consumer in the service consumption are highlighted along with the actions that the service organization takes to make the process interactive for the purpose of explanation of interactive marketing we show the conceptual model being used as in this slide in this model the key roles of the consumer in the service consumption are highlighted along with the actions that the service organization takes to make the process interactive here at the input stage we see two variables one controlled by the service firm other shown by the consumer the second step is that of the service process which includes the production and creation of the service the next step is the customer behavioral outcomes resulting into the firm's outcomes we shall discuss each of the steps in detail now we start with the discussion about the consumer as you saw in the slide the consumer perception is considered for a participative consumer in terms of clarity and understanding of roles to be played by a consumer the end goals that he seeks to satisfy at the end of the service consumption and the capabilities that a particular consumer possesses in context of the services being marketed the second aspect of the consumer relates to the active participative behavior which starts with the active search for the information regarding the service to be procured sharing of the relevant information and the purchase and usage of the service here the consumer may restrict himself only to the service production and thus performs the in role while his participation in the service co-creation and defining the basic structure of the service itself would be incorporated under the extra role as shown in the slide the second player in the interactive marketing is the service organization 
The first aspect relates to the strategy of the service organization. This strategy may be related to the transparency, customers, competitors and collaborators or the risk and return involved in the same. For instance, a boutique owner installs an interactive kiosk in its showroom for the consumer to choose a product and customize it as per his or her preferences and then get it delivered to the customer's place. The pricing strategy will be dependent upon the target consumer's paying capacity, the direct and indirect competitors in the industry and the expected return on investment for marketing highly customized dresses. Within the service organization, the other aspect of the service interaction for an organization is service innovation and design, channel and media used to promote or deliver the service, the pricing of the service, sharing of the relevant information and determination of the privacy policies concerning the service. Let us move ahead with the third step in the conceptual model of interactive marketing. This is the service infrastructure. The service organization's strategies and the customer response is affected by the basic building blocks of the key ingredients of the service infrastructure, that is, people, process, and technology. People here refer to the employees of the service firm. Process refers to the series of actions taken by the service organization in the creation and delivery of service. And lastly, the technology that facilitates the service production and consumption. Here we come to almost the final step in the conceptual model, service co-production. Service co-production refers to the participation of the consumers in each of the steps of service creation and service production. Here, a distinction may be drawn between service production and service co-creation. Now students, let's come to a very fundamental aspect of interactive marketing and that is co-production. Co-production refers to the participation of the customers in the process of development of the service within the boundaries and parameters set by the organization. The customers participate and share the tasks of service production which would otherwise be done by the organizational employees. This includes the consumer self-service retail outlets or retail websites in which the consumers themselves choose from a range of brands and products and then they proceed for payment and checkout. An online retailer may also offer consumers to choose a baggage of products from the limited range offered at a particular discount. The consumer's reason for such a participation may be perceived as a sense of control and choice of purchase which provides emotional satisfaction to the consumers. This process allows for mass customization of services. Another fundamental concept related here is co-creation. Co-creation 
is a step backwards in the process of service purchase by the consumer. Here, the consumer participates in choosing the basic design of the service, which is beyond the predefined parameters of the service provider. The level of flexibility in choosing the core service is very high for the consumer in co-creation. For an end consumer, co-creation could be best explained in the virtual game a child plays in creating a world of his choice in which he plans to live and play the game. Thus, co-creation is a process which offers customization and unique offerings for every consumer. For example, assume that a consumer wants to buy a dress of her choice online. She specifies the color, shade, fabric and design of the dress. She may provide the measurement specifications along with the specifications of length, sleeves, collar and the overall design etc. of the dress. When a consumer buys a customized dress online, it is the example of high technology enabled service being delivered to the consumer with the final product being designed as per the instructions of the consumers. Usually, co-creation is witnessed in the business-to-business -business buying situations where the consumer is directly involved in choosing the final shape of the product being offered. Co-creation is therefore a process which offers customization and unique offerings for each consumer. Let's move ahead with the consumer behavior outcomes. This is the next step in the buying process of an interactive marketing related to the consumers. The consumers may only try the service and may not go beyond it in terms of ownership or purchase of the service. The second outcome could be that of a satisfied consumer who goes for a repeat purchase of the service. A satisfied consumer may spread a positive word of mouth and a dissatisfied consumer may spread a negative word of mouth for a service co-produced or co-created. Often, a satisfied consumer may also be involved in the community interaction, which is a positive promotion for the service firm. Let us now come to the firm's outcomes. This being the last step in the conceptual model of interactive marketing. Having satisfied a consumer, the objective of the organization is fulfilled. The consumer satisfaction results in the regular flow of revenues and eventually profits for which the firm aims. Thus, the outcomes of the service firm are related to the revenues and profits generated as a result of consumer satisfaction from the use of a service. Hence, the model clearly represents the various steps involved in interactive service marketing for a service organization as well as the service buyer. Having discussed about interactive marketing and the model, we understand that interactive marketing has a very important role to play in services. Let us look at the importance of interactive marketing. Interactive marketing 
is a common marketing feature in the business to business marketing however it is now being increasingly witnessed even in the consumer marketing there are a number of factors responsible for the growing application of interactive marketing in the consumer market let us look at some of these now the first is interactive marketing as essential for value conscious consumer the 21st century saw the world market shrinking into a global village the consumer was suddenly bombarded with a number of marketing offers this made the marketers create value for their services to attract the consumers while the marketers used a number of strategies to face the global competition one of the most attractive one for the consumer was the offering of value to the consumer through their interaction in the marketing activities the second importance is for a feeling of control the consumer's interaction with the service provider during the production or delivery of the services it gives a more satisfied feeling let us assume while booking the movie tickets online the consumer can choose not only the show timings but also the available seats in the hall this interaction gives a feeling of higher control and satisfaction to the consumer interactive service marketing also offers a wider choice while interacting with the marketers in the process of buying the consumer always feel that they can look for a wider choice for instance if given an option to book a hotel room on a vacation the interactive marketer like trivago offers the consumers a wide variety of choice of hotels with varying capacities facilities and price range thus the consumer can decide to buy a service as per his suitability amongst a wide range of offerings let us look at the last reason for the growing importance of interactive marketing in services as personalized services an interactive marketing always develops a usp that the services being given to the consumer are especially tailor made for the consumers since the consumer may be given a chance to be a co-creator or a co-producer the service will be more personalized and thus would better satisfy the consumer for example while preparing a sandwich subway ensures a high level of interaction in asking for the choice of consumers for various ingredients this co-production activity convinces the consumer of a personalized sandwich as per his taste and flavor due to increased competition every service provider aims to offer a unique benefit to the consumer to attract the awareness and preference of the consumer in his own favor interactive marketing is a relatively new tool utilized by the service providers for marketing the services by involving the consumers in its creation or production depending upon the strengths of the service organization the interaction with the consumers may be sought at any or every step 
of the value chain hierarchy. There can be varying degrees of participation of the consumers in interactive marketing on the scale of high involvement to low involvement based on the twin dimensions, the extent of technology enabled services and the extent of consumer participation in the service creation and delivery. While the consumers always prefer a higher level of interaction, the service seller may not be able to keep up the high expectations of the consumers at all service interactions. Hence, the level of interaction should be carefully designed by the service marketeer. However, not all is good about service interactive marketing. There are certain limitations of interactive marketing. Like any marketing tool, the interactive marketing can be very useful if the consumer feel the interaction as worth in the service production and delivery. However, if not implemented carefully, interactive marketing may be considered as a burden by the consumer. The following are some of the reasons when a consumer may not be happy with the interactive marketing. The first is a bounded choice. While asking the consumers for their preferred inputs in the service delivery, if the consumer is offered a very limited choice or options, it is likely to result in the consumer dissatisfaction. For example, while offering the consumers to choose from a range of hotels for a stay, if there are only a few hotel options available or if the type of hotels being offered are not up to the service expectations of the consumer, the interaction may result in a negative attitude about the service marketer. The second is the limitations in service offerings. There may be very limited flexibility offered to the consumer in the service interaction. For instance, let us assume that a consumer is interacting with the telecommunications service center over a voicemail. There is a particular issue that he needs to resolve by availing of the services. But he is not able to find the suitable option in the navigation of the voicemail. This will leave the consumer highly dissatisfied with the interaction. And the last is a reason for dissatisfaction. The service organization offers core service in addition to interactive mode of marketing. The consumer would evaluate the service on quality of both these parameters. If the consumer is dissatisfied with the interactive aspect of the service offering, it may transfer to the dissatisfaction towards the core service being provided by the marketer, even if the core service essentially was not substandard. Hence, the poor quality of value addition offered through interactive marketing may result in a negative perception towards the core service. So students, now let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Interactive marketing refers to the involvement of consumers in the process of marketing of services by any organization. The level of interaction may vary from a low level of interaction to a high level of interaction. This degree of interaction is a result of technology being used in the production and delivery of the services and the interest of the consumers 
in participating in the consumption of services. Generally, the web-based services are the best examples of interactive marketing where with the use of technology, the consumers are able to participate well in the process of service purchase. While the interactive marketing offers benefit to the consumers by way of exerting higher control in the process of service consumption, it also offers benefits to the organization in terms of being perceived as user-friendly. An organization which offers consumers involvement in production or creation of the services often develop an image of service providers offering the higher standards of service to take such a risk of consumer participation. However, if the service seller has not prepared a strong support system ready for the service co-creation and co-production, the value addition offered by the organization may adversely affect the image of the service provider despite the fact that the core service is of a very high standard. Hence, Though interactive marketing is increasingly being witnessed as a necessity in the elevated global competition, its use should be very carefully done based upon the strong support system developed by the firm. Thank you.